blades upon impact. They are locked back with our Earth Tech system. Of course, completely secure, completely centric, and 100% secure in flight and at the shot. Uh, you cannot shake these blades open on a broadhead on an arrow. They just will not move at all. And so what you will not have is when you have uh, any sort of other retention system like a, a collar, an O-ring, a band, a uh, spring clip, or steel spring fingers, what you have is way too much mechanical going on. The entire idea behind the Clovis is what people wanted, which is a very, very simplistic design. And that's what we did. We want the most simple design possible, which is to have our Earth Tech system. If I show you on the side here, open this up. Our Earth Tech system with our rare earth magnet embedded in the back of the ferrule. The blades are going to close and lock. And you literally cannot open these blades at the shot or in flight, which is a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful system because what you have with other broadheads is anything back here that holds the blades in is going to tend to flexure during the shot. So what you have essentially is think of it like a rocket. As the broadhead is accelerated forward by the arrow string, you, these blades are still and inertially they want to stay still. So what happens is you have an O-ring back here or a band or whatever. The blades want, kind of want to, they kind of want to for momentarily flex maybe that one, Maybe this one. Uh, there are some other gator style heads that use like tension and a, a set screw up here to hold the blades. They actually have to tension it down so the blades want to stay in. And, and that's a problem to me because on an impact, there's tension holding them in and they don't want to open up. So with the Clovis, we got rid of all of that. We have a magnet in the back, blades are secure. Okay. The entire duration of flight, the arrow is centric. That's where you get the absolute precision tack driving laser ability of the Clovis versus any other mechanical broadhead. And for that matter, any broadhead on the planet. Fixed blades tend to be very inaccurate. Uh, some are very accurate. I'll give them that. But at long distance shots, when you have wind, you have long range, say Western U.S. shots where you're shooting an antelope at 80 yards plus, the Clovis is where it's at. Because these blades are locked in. You're getting tack driving precision. Um, as evidenced by every single shot we've ever taken. And everybody that's responded says this broadhead is the most accurate broadhead on the planet, and we're very proud of that. So on impact, what happens then, after these blades are locked in, on impact, you have three pounds of force that hit the wing blades, okay? On impact, the wing blades at three pounds instantaneously explode off the magnet. The way magnetism works, it follows the inverse square law of science. So that, what that means is as soon as the steel is just a little bit away from the magnet, the magnet loses all retentive power and the blades can explode open. And that's the advantage you're going to get with a Clovis. You're going to get instantaneous explosion of these cutting blades, leaving these great holes through the entrance side of the animal. Then on pass through the animal, what you have is the ability of the Clovis, because they slave together but don't lock, to pivot back and forth. Okay, If you look at the differences here, a locking blade uh, and other brands, what you have is you have the ability when it locks back to, if these blades are locked back against the back of the ferrule on um, bone contact, completely jackknife and completely turn your broadhead direction. Whereas the Clovis, when it hits their slave together with these wing blades, can pivot around that bone. Now, what we've had happen is some people say, well, what if this cutting blade or that cutting blade hits a bone on this side and, the, and it folds in and it hits the magnet and it sticks in there because the magnet's going to hold it? Not true. And here's why. Look at this side. When that cutting blade folds in, guess what's ex exposed over here? The other wing blade. Guess what's it under? Constant tension and pressure the entire time. What's it want to do? Immediately flick black back open after the bone passes and continue cutting through the animal, which is 100% what we found with the Clovis. Same thing on the other side. Let's say that this cutting blade hits a, a bone like a scapular rib and it suddenly folds in to go around. First of all, we want it to fold in and here's why. If that blade is locked and it hits the bone, it's going to hit and deflect, okay? Or it's going to hit and, and lock and drag over the entire surface of the blade, dulling it and also dragging it and basically holding it back like ballistics gel. Whereas the Clovis immediately can pivot in, okay? The other cutting blade is hyperextended out the other side, getting a very hard cut. This wing butt is still exposed and under pressure. And as soon as it gets around the bone, flick back open. And that right there is the triple point Clovis difference and pass through. To date, we've had 100% kill rate on animals, 100% pass through, 100% huge entrance and exit holes, 100% massive blood loss, and we're proud to say to date, 100% effective game on the, the ground for the hunter. And that is what we're all about here at Troll Point Outdoors. Effective bow hunting for the bow hunter, taking game efficiently, effectively, and putting them on the ground. And we're extremely proud of this Clovis broadhead.